people died in a jihadist terror attack in August 2017, most of them here in La Ramna in Barcelona after being run over by a van. The trial of three defendants, the only three accused who are still alive, began today. Only one of them expressed remorse, while the other two denied involvement in the plot. Hello, this is Catalan News in 100 seconds. The public prosecutor has requested sentences of up to 41 years behind bars for ties to a terrorist cell, but not for murder, as victims acting as private prosecution demand. On the first day of the trial, a police officer said that they were planning attacks on Barcelona's Cap Nou and Sagrada Familia, as well as Paris's Eiffel Tower. The three living suspects expressed either remorse or denial. Ustedes, a lo largo del tiempo que llevan prisión, eh, está arrepentido. Sí. Yo no, yo no me juntaba con ellos, yo me juntaba con otra gente, era más mayor. Jamás he ido ni a rezar en la mezquita, ni era practicante en el religioso. A significant percentage of Spaniards could be vaccinated for COVID-19 by May 2021, said Health Minister Salvador Illa. As anticipation over the Pfizer vaccine grows, experts such as Buenaventura Crudet urge caution. The website to apply for a 2,000 euro one-time grant for freelancers was down again today. The 10,000 allowances, granted on a first-come, first-served basis, ran out, but the process drew criticism. Claramente es un fracas en la gestió d'aquesta convocatòria de jutges i demostra que estan bàsicament mal pensats, mal dissenyats i mal implementats. The February 14 vote will take place primarily in pavilions instead of schools as is customary. Election workers will have antigen COVID tests performed and have their temperatures checked. That's it for today. Be sure to stay tuned to Catalan News for more information on upcoming court sessions of the trial on the events that happened here three years ago, as well as for other news relating to Catalonia. Thanks for watching.